Okay. I think we're ready to go. It says uh, we're recording. Thanks, everybody, for joining us for today's uh, inform, uh, virtual Inform Coaches webinar, May 16, 2017. Hopefully, uh, you have a beautiful day wherever you're, you're at. Um, one more time, just so quickly, can everybody hear me? Go ahead and raise your hands if you can hear me. Raise those hands nice and high. Great, I can see them. And also, if you can see that stream, the virtual inform stream, can everybody see that? Keep raising those hands. Good. All right, looking good. Uh, so throughout the throughout our call today, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a um, a quick tap on our questions screen on that little menu item, and share your comments, and we'll try to answer those at the end of our our call. Uh, in the meantime, I wanted to introduce our guests. Uh, today, Judy Pladna and, and Nikki Rieg are going to be speaking to us on how they uh, execute and form from a virtual standpoint. This is a, something that's been in great demand. People are very curious about how they reach out to people beyond their immediate geography. So hopefully they'll give us some answers and some ideas and strategies on how they're successful doing that with their INFORM program. So I think, um, Judy, I think I'm going to give you the control here to let you run the show. Are you there? Yes, I am. All right. Go ahead. Your, your uh, mouse should take over here. Okay, so I will introduce myself. I'm Judy Pladna here in Dubuque, Iowa, and who is on this call with us today is my right-hand woman. Her name is Nikki Reed, and we've been in it together since the beginning. Let me tell you, the key to success is the family you build with Nature Sunshine. You rally and help one another. So today we're going to talk about inform at a distance, or what I call distance coaching, because we want to be able to help everyone that we can, whether they're in our city or outside of our city limits, or maybe they're in our city limits but just can't make it into a physical class. So we're going to talk about Nikki's best practices and my best practices, how mm -hmm. we've been coaching at a distance. You take it from there. You take the information we share. If it doesn't you know, sound like a good fit for you, then you tweak it to fit your needs because there's no wrong way to do inform as a business. Here we go. So how to. What we're going to do is how to measure progress without the bio tracker. So if someone cannot make it into your bio tracker for weekly weigh-ins, there's other ways to go about it. Think of the people that you may not be able to help, such as traveling nurses, where they're in a different state at different times of the year, and they're not going to be with you in person. So what I've done in the past is have them measure themselves. You can drop ship them a tape measure or just have them pick up a sewing tape measure from maybe the dollar store and have them measure themselves. You just walk them through on how to do it, and they can keep track of their body composition that way. Another way is to have them take pictures and send them to you. Um, that way you can monitor body composition position that way. Those pictures do not lie. They are so neat. You know, day to day people don't recognize that they're making progress, but if you look back at a photo, it's, it's, it's right there. It's pretty neat to see the skin tighten and, and to see how well that they're doing just through those photos. They can also weigh themselves, but keep in mind, we don't want them to get disappointed. So have them not weigh daily so they're not frustrated daily, and it doesn't set the tone for their day. And as you know with your bio tracker, that top number is the least important. The body composition is where it's really at, but people want pounds off, and Inform does deliver that. Have them track progress on how they feel. Not all of our results are physical. Um, people have less bloating, more energy, their skin clears up, their skin tightens, and their mood improves. So have them track their progress as well on how they're doing with Inform uh, with you coaching them at a distance. So to set the scene, give this person a call and do a consultation over the phone. 
find out what their goal is. What do they want out of working with you as their personal coach? Then find out why. Why do they want this? Is it to gain health? Is it to look good in a wedding dress? So come down to their why so that you can continue to pull them up when they start to plateau or get frustrated. Decide together what's going to work out best for them. We want to be able to help everyone, so find out how. Um, a time, a certain day, and come up with a plan on how you want to help them at distance coaching. And then let, let them know how much you're going to charge and collect that payment um, at that time before you start their program. An easy way to get them started is to order their products for them. Go ahead and call Nature Sunshine and place that order so you make sure that person falls under you and their products are on the way in three to five days so that when you are ready to start coaching them less than one, they've already got their products and you can help them understand how to use them. And lastly, they're going to need a participant manual and that is very easily drop ship, meaning you go to the website or you call Nature Sunshine and you order them a manual and you send it right to them. Or maybe you've got a stack at home and you just want to drop one in the mail. But they will need that participant manual to keep up with your teaching over the course of time. Now, let's talk about the three parts to the clinically proven informed plan. When it comes to helping everyone, you can help them just with products. So you can just send them a kit and have them touch base with you on how they're doing. That can be that. Uh, then there's the food plan. You'll want to go over the food plan with people so that they understand that we are going to start to eliminate sugar and grains and if that's a deal breaker or not. And then the third part is the coaching part, and that's what you'll be able to provide for them even at a distance. So you can help each person with coaching, just a, product full of, a kit full of products, and also the food plan. So in that consultation, you figure out where you can meet their needs best with all three pieces of the puzzle for clinically proven success, or they'll get success here and there from just parts of the puzzle, but that's how you can pitch it to them. All right, so methods on how I've distance coached in the past and still am. Some people, depending on what their needs are just need a weekly phone call. So that's what we do every week. I give them a call at a specified date and time that we've decided, and I find out what went well, and we talk about it. What was a challenge? And we come up with some solutions. And then we set a goal together, one SMART goal. What is one thing you could do better? And I call it their marching order. And then I'll also go over the module that we're on. Maybe I'll teach them about toxicity. Next is email communication. Maybe they don't have time for a phone call. They just want to touch base with you through email. Perfectly fine. I do this as well. I will email them the PowerPoint presentation to module number three, ask if they have any questions on detoxing, and that's how we communicate through distance coaching. I'm always available by text messaging. If they're at the store, they take a picture of their yogurt, they send me the picture, and they ask me, is this okay for me to have? I can educate them that way by telling them what the ingredients are and what's good and what's bad about it. So text messaging works. FaceTime works. Some people want to see your face, and I want to see theirs, and that works out great. So you could use Skype or FaceTime to talk to them weekly. You could also use a Facebook Messenger, just like you use text messaging. And lastly, Facebook groups are my favorite. I will get into that next. Maybe. My slide won't advance. <laughs> See if you can go back one. I think you, you um, passed by the, uh, the other slide that we were looking at. Sure. One more before that one, right? There you go. There we go. So how to set up a Facebook group. If you have a smartphone or a tablet in front of you, I suggest you go ahead and pull up your Facebook account so you might be able to follow along 
Otherwise, these slides will be available so that you can follow back up with this when you're ready to set up your group. You can also, if you're on a mobile device, take a screenshot of these slides here so that you can come back to it. So Facebook group, I just adore this. It's a private group where I can put my participants and I'm in constant contact with them. And what works out beautifully is the questions that they may put on there may be answered by another participant before I even get to it, which is fantastic. So you're going to go to your Facebook app and you're going to click on groups and there will be a little plus sign that means you're going to add a new group. And so you create that group and you give it a name. Maybe you call it Judy's Informers or whatever you like. Now, firstly, you have to be friends with your new participants. So step one is to make sure that you're friends on Facebook. So you either invite them to be your friend or have them invite you to be their friend. So then you'll be able to add these friends to this group. In this group, you will be able to motivate, educate, and promote Nature Sunshine products and specials there to keep them informed. My people never want to miss a special, so I always put them there for them. They're always hanging on by a thread to get a dollar shipping or something exciting. So um, you can also motivate them, put little quotes and pictures and before and after pictures when they succeed with their permission. And that's also where you can educate them with tips and tricks and recipes. You create that group and, and fill that content specific to your people's needs. Now, what I like best about using Facebook group is I use Facebook Live, and I'll explain that in just a second. It's a wonderful tool for distance coaching, and I record each model. So I sit down in front of my um, iPad, and I use Facebook Live, and I will record modules 1 through 13 as I've taught them. So when I add a new person to the group, I can tag them on on these recorded modules. So they get to have that live teacher, um, and I don't have to you know, physically be with them to teach it again. So I've got this Facebook Live recording of modules 1 through 13, and let's just say Sally is my new participant. What I'll do is, under that video that I recorded maybe months ago, in the comment section, I will type in Sally's name to tag her, and she will be able to watch that module. And then I will follow up with Sally, asking her through email or text or Facebook Messenger, however we pre-decided how we're going to communicate, if she has any questions. Okay, so that Facebook Live, this is how to use it. When you're in your group, you will tap on post just like you would normally type something in, but there's a little live video button that is usually in pink. You will add a description for your broadcast. Maybe you'll call it Module 1 or um, Trip to the Grocery Store or whatever you want to call it. And then you tap the Go Live button when you're ready. During your broadcast, you will see how many viewers are there live in person. You have and can respond to comments live. So sometimes if I'm entering in a different group, what I will do is let them know that I'm going live on a certain topic in five minutes. And then in five minutes, I do this live broadcast. And I might have five people on there with me. And they might be asking questions as I'm teaching, which is fun. And I can answer them as they're coming in. Now, to end this broadcast, you just tap the Stop button. This video is automatically saved to your Facebook group for members to view later. You can remove it at any time, just like any other post. This is an excellent tool. And as I've mentioned before, besides that inform participant group, you may want to start another private group of your team members. So my Nikki's in there, and my Jody's, and my Amanda's, and all my all my informed coaches I have a group that's private to them where we motivate teach and promote each other as well and it's a great place to share content and information um, what we don't have we together have it all so we depend on one another we've developed a great team to help each other out now I'm going to let Nikki take it away and explain to you her best practices with distance coaching using zoom webinar Thank you, Judy. Can everyone hear me? 
Yeah. Okay, loud and clear on my side, yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Um, I'm Nikki Reeg, and I am here to just talk to you about my best practice, and that is the Zoom webinar. There are a couple of different other um, companies that you can go with for uh, webinars, but I found Zoom to be the most user-friendly for me, and they're, it's free. So um, having said that, I do want to mention to you guys that fear is perceived. And I don't know if anybody went to conference and saw our motivational speaker. She was so fantastic, and she talked about perceived fear. and I just don't want anyone to not go this route just because they're afraid they can't do it. Because if I can, you can. Um, so going forward, I'm just going to show you basically some of the snapshots of the um, screens that you're going to go to when you first get to Zoom. And I don't think I'm... It's not advancing for me. Judy, do you want to try and gift her? Maybe I'll here, let me see if I can take care of that. Nikki, you should be able to do it now. Oh. Try now. Uh oh. Oh, oh, okay. All right, well I can't see my screen now. Yeah, let's see here. Keyboard. Hmm. Okay, bear with me here. It won't let me join again. I tried to rejoin, but it won't let me join again because I'm already joined. So let me see what happened. Oh, I'm sorry about this. I don't know where my screen went. Okay. I think it might be coming up, but... Okay, well, can you go ahead and advance the slides for everyone and let them know where we're at, let me know where we're at, and I can just talk, um, I can just do the slides, just talk about the slides. Would that be okay? Hello? Shoot. Are you I'm there? I'm here. I'm here. Okay. okay we'll, right. we'll, we'll advance the slides. Thanks, everybody, for your patience. Yes, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened there. I took the. I, all I did was advance the slide, and nothing happened. Okay. No problem. Can you guys can you guys see that slide now? Yeah. Okay. Great. So you can see my my screen. All right. Well, I'm advanced to where we start your presentation. Okay, okay, how's that? Yes, okay. All right, so here we are with the Zoom. Speaking of fear, that's, there you go. Just have to have patience, and the technology will, will co uh, obviously help us. Exactly, exactly. But like I really said, if I can do this, you can do this. Um, so I let me just go back a little bit. I have done uh, the Zoom webinar quite a bit. And I had never, have never had any technical difficulties when I was in my Zoom webinar with my participants. So that's good. And um, the next slide that I have, thank you, is the Zoom instructions. So I'm just going to go briefly over this because this is a lot of, we could go down some rabbit holes with this because there's so much information. But it really is simple. And you can do it on your PC or your Mac, and it's also iOS and Android combat compatible. So I do it on my computer because I'm sitting at my desk at home and I'm comfortable. Um, and so that's how I'm going to show you because that's my best practice and that's what I know. So I gave you the link here uh, to go to the Zoom page to go ahead and initiate this process. So if you want to go ahead and uh, advance to the next slide. 
Okay, so here's what you'll see. And at first, this is the home page, but before you sign up, I'm going to have everyone um, note that you'll go up to the support button at the very top there on the top right hand corner because there are so many really good videos that you can watch to show you how to do things um, and particularly to sign up for an account. So rather than spend a lot of time talking about how to sign up when they give you such great information anyway, we're going to just go ahead and move on from there. So we're going to go into the support. Yep. And then you're going to, after you've done that, you're going to click on the getting started button right down, right at the popular topics. Yep. Thank you. So that's going to take you to the link for the for all of those videos and it's going to help you get started. I did it and it was really simple. Now, the next thing you're going to do is once you're in and here I am, you see my little picture up there. So this is my home page and I would go here and I would just simply go to host a meeting. So once I've um, clicked on the host a meeting, I think you can go ahead and go to the next slide. Yep, okay, so this pops up. Now, what I normally do is I just click the share screen. And the reason I usually, thank you, click the share screen is because I don't, I usually have more than one group of people on a webinar, and so I don't need to see their faces. And what we do need to see is the PowerPoint presentation. So I usually make sure that I have the PowerPoint presentation up on my computer so that when I click into the share screen, um, it's up there and they can see it as well, M much like what we're doing today. And um, so once you have gone to the host the meeting and then you've had your, your screenshot, can you go back just one more? Sorry. That's my participant. Um, and once you've gone there, you're going to go ahead and take that URL. It says the invitation URL, and it says where you can copy URL. Yep, right there. So you can go ahead and copy that URL, and you can do whatever you want. with. It. You can send it in Facebook message. You can email it. Uh, you could post it to a group. Judy had talked about doing uh, the groups, and that would be a really easy way for everyone to get that URL so that they can join the webinar themselves. Um, so that, to me, is, is how to go about it. And honestly, that's really all there is to it. When you go to Zoom, if you're trying to do it on your own, it can be incredibly frustrating because there's so many cool nuances and things that you can do with it, but we really don't need to do all that. Now, if you have a lot of time on your hands and you want to yourself, go right ahead. They have multiple screen sharing where you can see everybody that's in your meeting and a lot of cool things like that, but this is what I did and have done and I'm doing and it's very, very successful. Um, I do have uh, everyone sending me, like Judy had said, their um, stats. They'll weigh once a week. I don't like them to weigh more than once a week because like you said, the top number, the weight really isn't what we're interested in as much as we're interested in the body composition and the change that's happening in their body. So I have done that. So every week we pick a date that works for everyone, just like Judy said, and we I send them their URL and we do our meeting. And then we have the audio also connected so that everybody can ask questions. And generally, since my groups aren't that large like we would have in something like this today, I let the audio open so that people can ask questions when they need to. Uh, generally, that creates a nice atmosphere for a meeting for people to learn a little bit more than what's just on the slides. And um, so that's how I, how I do that. Once you've gotten everybody on the, the, the webinar, and everybody, usually it's not too much trouble. I've, like I said, I've never had anyone have any trouble with this. And I know I made this sound really simple, but it really is. Uh, just those steps 
that I went through with you are the easiest way to go about it. Uh, rather than getting on to that Zoom website and going, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Open your account, host your meeting, copy your URL, screen share, and you're good. It's really that simple. Now, could you go ahead and advance to the next slide for me? This is Angie. Angie did a really good job with the program. And like I said, they uh, sent me their stats. They weighed themselves. They measured themselves. And she lost 12.75 inches and 20 pounds in 13 weeks. And that's that's with not coming in and seeing a person and stepping on a bio tracker, you know, and having the the weekly accountability of seeing a face. She didn't need to because she was connected with me via my Facebook group and then we did our Zoom webinar every week and we also um, communicated through email. So it really did work well for her. And can you go ahead and uh, advance to the next slide? This is her husband, John, and he, of course, is a man and lost more weight. I know it's not fair, but he lost uh, 28 pounds and 14.50 inches. And since then, they've both, uh, Angie lost, has lost 10 more pounds, and John lost 20 more pounds. And they are really getting into fitness aspect of the INFORM program. So um, they're still doing well. And I also wanted to just mention quickly that I didn't have the option to drop ship, but now we do. So that's fantastic. Um, so I do drop ship the manual and um, have them, I do place their order for them. Like Judy said, honestly, that is just the simplest way to go about it to make sure that they get um, their products. Now, these individuals weren't on the kit because the kit wasn't created yet, but I did my own kit with um, shakes and probiotics, and we did a cleanse about week three, and they've had these good results, and it was all um, via the Zoom webinar. So that's, that's how I did it. Well, that's great. You know, you make it sound so easy, <laughs> as we saw a second ago. Technology can be a little frustrating, but I guess the, the, the best thing to do is to practice maybe with friends. Is, is there a way for you to use the Zoom program with just a couple of friends, like maybe Judy were to join you on a Zoom conference yes. call? Uh, yes, you could, do do that. you could do that as many times as you want. And the great thing with the Zoom webinar is you can create um, – you can create a webinar, you can do it, and you create another webinar, and you can do that one. So you could spend an entire day, if you had the time, um, just practicing. So absolutely. I practiced with my husband. Um, I sent the link to him via email because he wasn't on our Facebook page or anything. So I sent him the link, the link via email, and he popped on, and we it was just fine. So, um, yeah, absolutely. I recommend um, just troubleshooting and trying it with friends or family. And you don't even have to do that, do it for that long. You can just say, oh, is everybody hearing me? Okay, we're good. And then go on from there. Good question. Do you know the difference between Zoom and, for example, GoToWebinar, which we're using right now? Why would you use Zoom versus something like that? or? Well, that's a good. That's a very good question. But it's simply um, see. I I did this this first one. I gave you my first one. I did this inform program with them two years ago. So this was a while ago, and they go to webinars. Did not have a free choice. So you know, I'm frugal, and I didn't want to pay for it. So I went ahead with Zoom, and that that is why I shared with you today because that's what I'm still doing, simply because I know it and I'm comfortable with it. Awesome. Um, real quickly, this is kind of the, the um, elephant in the room. People ask, well, what if there's no bio tracker for them to get on every week? And how do you somehow overcome that or give them additional support to offset that? Or what do you do? And maybe, Judy, you can also comment, both, both of you can comment to that point. 
Sure. So the question is how to get around not using the biotracker. If, if you're seeing somebody virtually and let's say, uh, well, I, I live in California, let's say I'm seeing somebody virtually in Washington, or my brother, for example, in Oregon. How, how, since he doesn't have access to a biotracker, uh, how, how do you get them to still um, see the improvement that they've made on a weekly or monthly basis? Yep. So we're going to go to those other tools that we talked about as far as monitoring, monitoring progress, having them journal on how different they're feeling, how their clothes are fitting, using a measuring tape, stepping on their own scale. Um, you know, there's skills at gyms, and there's Tanita is the brand that makes our bio trackers, and those are available, you know, on Amazon. So they could use a different tool or a different scale, but we are just looking for success with what they want to reach their goal. So in the beginning, you find out what their goal is. Is it just to have an improved gut and to feel better? We can monitor that without the bio tracker. Is it to lose pounds? We can use a regular scale for that. Was their goal to fit better into their clothing? Well, we can use the measuring tape for that. And we can also do those before and after pictures. So you may want to be creative. The bio tracker monitors specifically metabolic age, which is what metabolic dysfunction and what our clinically proven program is based around. So to be able to get around that, we have to use those other measuring tools and not use our bio tracker uh, when we're distance coaching. So that's just one of the ways we just have to go about it for now. Awesome. Yep, I'm, awesome. I measured. I, measurements were huge for, for my participants. So in terms of uh, measuring the uh, inches that were yes, lost, yes, is what you're saying? Yep. Actually, okay. when I was, um, I've been a personal trainer for many years, and when I worked at a gym, I wouldn't allow my people on a scale. <laughs> because there's, interesting. Yeah, there's such a huge emotional aspect of the scale. And when you don't have the awesome bio tracker readings where you can show them, oh wait, you gained two pounds, but it was muscle and you lost fat, you tend to really delve into that emotional side. So to stay away from that, if I have people that are getting too emotional, I tell them to stay away from the scale and just measure with the tape. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay, great. Um, Barb Horzov Pardon me, Horazdovsky. Uh, I wanted just to let you know we do have the virtual informed PDF from today's uh, meeting. It's in the handout section. I should have probably mentioned that to you earlier. That's available for you folks to download. Download. Uh, my suggestion is maybe one more time. Sit down after this is archived and available on the website. Run through each one of these slides and. Judy and Nikki have suggested write some notes and then try this with with your your pilot Zoom uh, virtual group or whatever software platform whether it's Facebook Live that you're using. Um, so again, that's available under the handouts section in our menus. So look for handouts. It'll say 5-16-17 virtual informed PDF. Um, so in terms of questions, do you mind if I run through some questions, Nikki and Judy, some, some other questions Not at all. from our group? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so um, let's see here. Marsha Bird asked, so once you send the URL, are you live? How do they know when to tune in? Okay, good question. You send the URL to them and they click on it and they join the webinar. It's as simple as that. Now, they will have to make sure that their computer is compatible, and it will prompt them through that. Sure. Nikki, okay. isn't it just like how they got on the webinar today? They already know the date and the time and when to click on. So just like you got on the webinar today is the same way you'll get on to the Zoom webinar um, when it's the day and time that you're doing your presentation. Yep, exactly. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Speaking of awesome, Martha Sluter said, you guys are awesome. This training is so right on. So great. Thanks, Martha. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Martha. Uh, so you kind of mentioned if, uh, if you'll, how do you know if your computer is going to be compatible for Zoom? 
and Marcia also asked about participants. Do you have to download Zoom in advance? It's somewhat like uh, go to webinar, you have to kind of download a little. It takes a little bit of time yeah. at the beginning to download. So yep. go ahead. Yep, just like just like Judy said, it will be just like when you go go to webinar and Zoom are very similar. So, like I said, the reason I chose Zoom is because I it was free, and I also felt that it was more a little more user friendly based on the little tiny bit that I had done. Um, but but yeah, so that it's pretty it was pretty simple to me. Judy? Awesome. Yep. On your yeah, on your phone or your iPad, you may have to download the app to be able to use it, but it's no big deal. Yes, and the on the website it has all those honestly, those videos um, were so informative and in that getting started um, little icon that I showed you with the rocket, uh, you can't you can't go wrong. There's all kinds of questions answered in all of those videos. So that's another reason I thought it was so great. It was very, very explanatory. Awesome. Awesome. Somebody had requested that I show the before and after photos again, so I'm kind of scrolling back and forth. Um, I like the way you did these with the, the, the newspaper, showing, showing that oh, it's real and giving them a time frame. That's how we used to have to do it. <laughs> so yeah, and um, they actually sent me a better picture of the newspaper too, because you can't really see very well. Um, so because you had to have it for the, I think it was the uh, the promotion that you had going at the time. Challenge. Yep. Okay, great. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, Kay Johnson asked in respect to Zoom set. Are they recorded like Facebook Live uh, sessions or like go to webinar sessions? I would say it's Can more like yeah, it's more like the go to webinar sessions, and I'm not sure if you can record it. That's a good question. Um, I have not recorded mine because of privacy issues with other people that are going to be on my call. Uh, if it were just me and it was just my voice and there was no audio, maybe I would record it, but I have all my participants being able to ask questions and things like that, so I just never have, but I bet you could. That's a really great point, and maybe Judy, you can speak to that on Facebook Live. Uh, is there a way, I mean, if you're doing a closed Facebook group, is it is it going out to everybody, or do you want to control who it goes out to, and then it's just that, that recording stays among just your participants? Correct. That recording stays just among the participants because that group is set up privately. So let's just say that Nikki, you know, wanted to share that post onto her page. For people that are not participants, it would come up um, unavailable. So it's blocked. So it stays private. Um, unless you're on your own personal page doing something like that, which you wouldn't want to do. So you don't want the public getting this information that they haven't paid for. Um, so you do that in those private groups that you've set up. So the, the security on that group is private, so that that way those videos stay there and it's just among those participants. Great, great. Uh, and then there was a question, can you give mouse control to another participant in Zoom? Kind of like we were attempting to do there. Um, somewhat, somewhat, um, <laughs> That's a good think. question. <laughs> um, I don't think with the free um, one that I showed you that you do have that capability, but I do believe that you can pay for a version of it that you can do the more complicated technical things like, well, the mouse control. <laughs> so, sure, sure. Yeah, I, I've not done that just because it's my PowerPoint and I didn't need anybody to, to do it. I just, it was a needs basis, but I'm sure you probably could. You can do everything anymore with, with Zoom. They've re they really keep coming up with new things that, and bigger and better. Awesome, awesome. Uh, let's see here. Do Facebook Live videos, this is a question for Judy, do Facebook Live videos disappear after a certain amount of time? Mine have not. I can remove them myself, but I've had them on there for a long time, and mine do not disappear. Have not. Okay, great. Uh, 
Mara asked about where on the website are these calls. Um, so my understanding is that on the informnsp.com site, once you're logged in, you should have access to all the archives from our INFORM uh, meetings and INFORM webinars. Uh, and these calls are recorded as part of a, it's like a video stream, if you will. So it's like they're watching a video, this is in the background. Um, so tonight, uh, Shandy will be, uh, I guess, they, like burning it to the hard drive or preparing it for that process and then probably by tomorrow or in a few days, it will be up on the website for you guys to, to look at. Um, if that's not the case, somebody correct me. Um, I don't believe we have a yeah. YouTube channel for this. Go ahead. They do go right to the coaches portal is where you're going to find them under training and resources. So you have to log in, go to the coaches portal, and then go to at the very bottom left-hand side, training and resources. And right there is where these webinars are archived. Shandy's been really good about taking it, though, and putting it on our Inform Coaches Forum uh, Facebook page. So after she's got it, you know, downloaded, she'll put the link on there, and you can watch them from Facebook as well. Oh, good. So there's a couple of different ways to, to to link to those and access those. Fantastic. Uh, thank you, Judy. There was a question mm -hmm. from well, actually comment from Shirley. Thank you. She said Zoom can be recorded, and as I recall, Rick Lambert uses that uh, pretty frequently during Education Week and we mm -hmm. record all those videos, so yeah, absolutely. Now, whether it's recordable in the freeze version or not, I'm not certain. That's something that maybe uh, we'll have to check on and get back to you folks. Or maybe you can you know, look look at the Zoom application, see if it's something that you want to uh, practice and play with in that demo version, and you'll be able to see if it's recordable. Uh, so there was a question about, um, Coach coaching fee pricing, um, and I, I don't think you mentioned anything specific about that. Do you? How do you? How do you charge for somebody who's a virtual uh, participant versus somebody who's a local participant in a group? Is is that more of a one-on-one -on -one type, or do you? Ha are they joining you through that Zoom platform so you consider them um, in the group? fee range. Tell, tell us a little bit about that, if that's something you guys change. Sure, Charles. I can answer first that, you know, my best practice is that I keep the price the same. Um, that person is going to take some of my time and effort by meeting with them differently and following up with them through emails and such. So I charge the same price. I charge my regular inform participants, but I personally charge people, whether they're in a group group class or they're doing one-on-one -on -one with me, I charge them the same. You know, a group class takes me an hour to run through, but one-on-one, -on -one, they're, they're, it's a quicker visit. So it's like a 15-minute visit where they pop in and step on the bio tracker and get their marching order and out the door they go. So I keep that price always the same for me, whether it's being done by distance or in a group or one-on-one -on -one in person, I keep the price the same. And cool. so do I. Um, I keep my price the same because there are two two schools of thought here. You know, when you're in a group, you get the bio tracker and whatever else you do for your groups, and you might feel like if you have someone virtually, they're not getting the same. But actually, uh, I've done quite a bit of just one on ones, and I feel like they almost get a little more of me. So I think that makes up for the fact that there's no bio tracker or um, the group setting. So either way, they're getting a good value and they're taking up your time and you don't care less about them. So, <laughs> you know, it, it's definitely worth it to charge the same. And uh, John and Angie, the ones you just saw in here, they um, were a couple and I charged them instead of double, I, ch I took um, about $50 off just because they were doing it together. So that's maybe something you could do um, to get your first Zoom webinar is um, target some couples. I like that. Great idea. Mm -hmm. So you, you actually mentioned a couple dollar amounts. And I know this is always a, a very touchy subject, but um, some people asked, how much would you actually charge somebody online? What, what would the 13-week course end up costing? And I guess it kind of 
does it depend on a region? But then again, it's global, right? So you can appeal to anybody in any country and with any um, economic uh, environment. So what would you do there? What do you guys think? What's appropriate? I always just, my flippant answer is what does Weight Watchers charge in the area of that person? So you might have to do a little legwork there um, and find out. So. Typically, Weight Watchers is $15 a week in our area, so we keep it just there or below Weight Watchers, so it's attractive. But I do believe in charging. I do believe people need to have skin in the game. I know any time I've coached for free or given it away, that participant doesn't hang in there with you. So that's just from my experience. But um, in my area, I we easily have no problem at $195 for 13 weeks. Um, but go ahead and look at your area or that area of the people that you are coaching and do some homework and see what similar programs are out there and what those are costing. But keep in mind you do want this person to be able to afford their products too. That's the most important part is making sure they have the money for their products because as you know, once they try Nature Sunshine, they are a customer for a long, long time. So you'd rather have that value versus, you know, that um, coaching fee. And then, you know, it's kind of like consultations, you know, one and done, and you might not see them again. So you want to make sure they're on product because they will be a repeat customer um, for a very but long, long time. So um, that's what I would do. I do my homework and find out what other programs are running around in their area and what they're charging and just be there or just below. Yeah, and obviously I charge the same as Judy because we're in the same family. Um, but I also, she made me think of something I wanted to mention really quick, and that's how important follow-up is with these, um, just this distance coaching. So in my area, yeah, when I have a class where people come to my class, I have a rolling class so they can pop in any time for a quick weigh-in and a quick chat. So what I do, what I do though with the mobile is, um, or the distance is, I follow up with them at least once a month to see how they're doing. And honestly, it has it has retained John and Angie as clients of mine, and they're on auto ship, and they probably always will be because of the follow up. And this is John and Andy right here, right? Oh, that's John and Angie, yep. Yeah, awesome. And I would imagine that they've improved even since these pictures were taken. Yes, so yes they have. It keeps uh, on helping, yeah. Yep. All right, just a couple other questions, I think, and then we can, maybe you can move on. Um, so if anybody has any last minute questions, please type those in. Um, it says, Shirley asks, if they only buy part of the inform kit, do you charge more for your coaching fee? No. Nope. Not here either. But that's a, a good question, though, in terms of the uh, the kit itself. Um, do you typically encourage them to buy the kit initially, or do you have a separate protocol that you're you're using specifically for them? I'm sure Nikki would agree with me that almost every person definitely does shake some probiotics. Uh, we always kind of play that good, better, best game where, you know, it's pretty good if you do shakes and probiotics. It's better if you do shakes, probiotics, and a cleanse. But if you want best results, we encourage them and we use these words, go all in, purchase a kit, and use it for at least the first 30 days, and then we'll tweak it from there. And I'm telling you, nine times out of ten, they end up doing three kits in a row while they're on the program because the kit... Nikki will agree with me, our best success, our best results are people that use the kit. Um, her participants that she shared with you today, she taught them on Zoom webinar before we had the INFORM clinical study and the INFORM kits. So our, you know, our shakes and probiotics and our cleanses have always worked beautifully. They still will work beautifully, but if they want clinically proven results, and we're talking about, you know, again, go back to the person's goal and what their why is. If they're there to gain health, if they're there to reduce their cholesterol, their, you know, balance their blood sugar, balance their blood pressure, you know, if health is what the goal is in mind, then definitely go all in with a kit for the first 30 days and you can tweak it from there. And I would dare say for somebody who's hoping just to do the program without the NSP products, that they would also Re kind of uh, address that why, come back to that same point you're making. That was another question that came up. Um, 
while, while you were uh, making that explanation. So again, great comments, great questions. Um, one or two more questions here, and, and then we can move on, perhaps. Um, so tell us about dieters clans versus clean start in the beginning for their people. Uh, is that something that you would look at? That's something that in the past some, some people have used at Nature Sunshine. Um, do you use those Absolutely. as part of your protocol? Absolutely. In my team of coaches, if I took a poll, we'd probably have a hands-down vote for dieters cleanse. It's kind of one of our favorites. It's our go-to. Um, it's mostly because it balances hormones, and we're working with women about the age of 45 and up. It tends to be more than likely. And there's lots of hormone balancing that needs to be done due to birth control and having babies and premenopause and menopause. And so we prefer the dieters cleanse. We like the other cleanses too, depending on, you know, again, consultation and finding out what that person's goal or needs are. Um, so, and cleansing can be done at the beginning to jumpstart the program. We like to have them do the cleanse the second time they order. We talk to them about detoxing week three, week four, they're ready to order more products, so they throw a cleanse on then. And yet I still have some people that will hold out because they're doing well, and they use the cleanse when they plateau. So there's no wrong time to cleanse, but we do make them aware that sometime in the next 13 weeks, we'd like to put a cleanse in somewhere. So again, if they came in and they've already lost 20 pounds on their own, but they can't get the last 10 off, maybe you want to have them cleanse right away. Maybe they came in and they build for two to three weeks, and now they want to cleanse because it'll go more comfortably. Or maybe they're losing weight and gaining health just fine without it till about week eight, nine, ten, and then they plateaued. So that's a good time to put in a cleanse. Um, I do love Clean Start. Um, I think it's fabulous if somebody wants a serious all-in cleanse. And so it's it's the big gun. It's powerful. It's wonderful. But they need to be ready and mentally prepared <laughs> for Clean Start. So it's it's wonderful. You know, I have a a girl I'm working with that couldn't do Inform 13 week program right now because she was getting married in six weeks so she wanted you know kind of that nice 21 day quick fix and so she went all in with clean start let's just get some things moving and get that tummy flat so you can get in that dress when you get home from your wedding then we'll talk lifestyle and we'll maintain our results through an informed program so again you can just build whatever products or plan into whatever program you need to meet that person's goal and why they have come to you Awesome, awesome. Um, so just as a real quick note, uh, Dieter's Cleanse is, I don't think it's available in California to California uh, purchasers because of the Prop 65 That's restrictions. Uh -huh. or, yeah, I mean, it's possible. And But Clean Start is. Um, so, and that is a, you have that option to take that in consideration. You know, I listen to you, Judy, listen to you. I'm ready to start right now. Um, go ahead and send me a link, and I'll join you virtually and see if uh, I can move things in the right direction. Um, oh, you're in all, trouble. You've got two of us. <laughs> I, I know how tough you guys are, too. Maybe I'll, I'll second guess that. But it's really important <laughs> to have that discipline and have a coach, somebody that, that believes in it. And, and you guys are awesome. I, mean, I see lots of familiar faces on our call today. I see Hugh Jenkins out there, Janice going. Great to see you, Jeanette Barkas. Um, a lot of folks that I've been seeing this this over the last couple of days and weeks at our Herbal Answers meetings. But um, another way to, to really immerse yourself uh, in the INFORM program is to join Linda for her hands-on training. These are coming up uh, in multiple dates in, 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 in her, is it Chicago? She's just outside of Chicago, isn't that, is that correct, Judy? That's oh, correct. Uh, yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, she she's taking taking this head on and showing you how her informed program works uh, at at her actual office and and um, health center. So it's kind of a neat opportunity. Uh, it's I don't know how many people they'll allow. I think we're you know it's obviously limited and Downers Grove. That's what I was thinking. But the dates are May nineteenth and the twentieth. June 16th and the 17th, July 21st and the 22nd, August, September, and October dates are also available. And it's a Friday uh, evening event, and then it continues on all Saturday. So what a great opportunity to, to either, you know, reinvigorate your current informed knowledge and uh, understanding of how to execute the program or just to start off from scratch. So if you have somebody that you've been working with as a participant or as an assistant in your informed program, it would probably be 
really behoove them to, to look at this opportunity. Uh, on another token, we pay you guys to have success with, with Inform. Um, if you help people certify and start a group, you can earn $100. So just to be clear, if one of your managers or members certify as a new coach, uh, now, June 30th, uh, plus starts a group within 60 days, you'll receive $100 cash in your bonus check. So that's kind of fun to get another $100. Uh, you can do a lot with $100, uh, whether it's on the West Coast, East Coast, or uh, down South. So I hope you guys are taking advantage of that. Uh, it's re regarding the informed cash bonuses, this is kind of the, the specifics, so make sure you read through all these uh, in respect to the re requirements and rules. And then um, we also have another group promo in May. Uh, if you start a group of five plus people, five or more, you can receive you can receive a fifty dollars product credit plus a box of um, the new Inform Way chocolate, which is just delicious. I think everybody's tried it by now. It was sampled at convention. We've been sampling it at our at our Herbal Answers events. But just to just to be clear, you can start off in. in the price is fifty dollars, right? Then you've got the Inform Way chocolate samples. Add that on; it's about a thirty-nine, forty-dollar value. So if you reach five hundred QV in weight management product sales, that's in your group, just the group members, obviously. Then you receive that fifty-dollar product credit, Inform Way chocolate samples, and a hundred-dollar product credit in addition. So that totals one hundred and fifty plus uh, thirty-nine, forty dollars for the the value of the weight chocolate samples. And then look at that, the third tier which we should all be targeting. Reach 1,000 QV in weight management product sales in your group, again, just group members, and you'll get everything, the whole kitchen sink. You know, you're know, you getting the $250 total product credit plus the, the informed weight chocolate sample. So that's kind of a fun promo this month. Hopefully you guys are taking advantage of it. Uh, and, and then the informed challenge, it, it's, it's beginning now, but it's always going on. So don't, don't um, waste time. The registration periods uh, available. This is the time to, to take action. Have your participants take take action. Again, it's 13 weeks of healthy transformation. There are prizes awarded. Informed coaches win too, uh, but you do have a, have to have an NSP account. So check out NatureSunshine.com challenge uh, if you have any questions regarding that informed challenge. Okay, there were a couple other questions that came up here in the meantime. Um, I believe qualifying for a virtual group can be done easily as well. You just have to send in people's names, account numbers, uh, and their pictures. If I'm if I'm not mistaken. Um, and Hugh had a question for people who can't make it to the Inform Immersion. Will it be online in the future? I don't know about that, Hugh. Uh, I think what we have been thinking about is if the Immersion program works as effectively as we think it will, we will probably be offering Immersion groups throughout the United States in each state where we have coaches. Uh, so that's something to think about. So there would be something that came maybe to uh, your geography here in Texas. Maybe there, will, there would be a um, a coach, a standout coach there that would um, offer immersion. So something to think about. So keep running your inform programs and having success with those. Who knows? Maybe we'll be tapping you to do the same thing that uh, Linda is helping us out with out in Chicago. Uh, back to the inform challenge, real quickly though. Uh, again, get paid to lose weight. How fun! Uh, that's not a bad deal. Uh, but with this, you also get a photo shoot and a makeover, a convention for two if you're a first place winner. Uh, but even second, third place winners. They get some really fine uh, products and, and um, prizes, you know, cash. Who doesn't want cash? A photo shoot and product credit. And uh, even if you're not in that top three, you still get $25 in free product for participating in the Inform Challenge. All right, just a reminder, our next webinar will be Tuesday, June 6th. Uh, this is our informed coaches webinar that we we had today. Uh, again, um, I don't have that that topic in front of me, but you can go to the Inform NSP website and sign up for that and f find out what that topic is. And we look forward to having you at, at that event as well. Thank you for joining us today. We had about a, a good 50 people on, and um, I'm excited to, to hear that you guys were uh, learning about virtual inform. It's been a real popular topic. Let's 
hear about your successes in the future. Um, I'll leave this. I'll leave this um, webinar on just so you can download the virtual inform PDF from today's webinar. The slides. And again, thanks. Thanks to all of you for joining us. Thanks, Cynthia. Uh, I, I saw you. You're welcome. Uh, and, and the rest of our gang out there. And most of all, thanks to Judy Pladna and Nick, Nikki Rieg for joining us. Have a fantastic afternoon, and keep burning fat and being fit with Inform. Take care.